Hi, um, I occasionally get this question about whether um, um, Teflon tape breaks the continuity of a uh, gas pipe, for example. And um, so I thought I'd do a little test to show that it doesn't really affect anything. So you can see in this one here, um, I've just got regular pipe dope on the threads. It's tightened up. I've got a heater plugged in on this side. And uh, the other cord plugs into a GFCI and AFCI protected uh, circuit. So, so now I've plugged it in. The heater's running. And uh, you can see we'll so the pipe uh, is energized. And then we'll look at the amperage on on uh, this connection. You can see that it's just two pieces of pipe threaded into a T. Uh, could use couplings or whatever, but we'll look at the amperage on here. You can see it's uh, zero. Why is it zero? <laughs> Hang on a second, I've got to reset my uh, wind probe, I think. There it goes. So you can see, coming through the fitting, I've got uh, 12, 12, slightly over 12 amps. And on this side, I have to, it'll be upside down, but you'll see that uh, it's about the same. So pretty, pretty similar. So we've got good continuity through the fitting with uh, just pipe dope. Now I'm going to unplug it and change it to the other piece of pipe. And then I'll plug it back in. And the heater's running again. We've got continuity. And we've got we've got uh, some amount of continuity anyway. We'll check it with the amper, but uh, it didn't trip off the FCI, so it's got to be reasonably good continuity. Um, See, this one is at yeah, a little over 12 amps again. And on this side, it's basically the same. So, really no difference between the uh, Teflon and the uh, pipe dope. Uh, what my feeling is that the uh, pipe still makes adequate contact. Uh, the Teflon only goes in the spaces where there's room for it. Otherwise the pipe makes contact.